Uh oh, it's time for the main ingredient with your host Brian. Let's go. That's me. Oh yeah. I'm always whipping up something delicious. So, get your ass in the kitchen and let's get started. Hey, welcome to Main Ingredient. I'm Brian. Today we're going to make broccoli and sausage pasta. It's one of my favorite pasta dishes. I make this for my friends all the time. It's really, really good and really, really easy. It's really versatile. And if I say really one more time, it's going to be really, really annoying. <laughs> so, first we're going to throw some garlic in the pan and fry it up. Got some oil already heated up, so let's get that started. Okay, we've been sauteing the garlic for about five minutes. We want to get nice and browned. We're going to take this out of the pan, though, for when we cook the sausage, because otherwise it's going to get way too done. So I'm going to take it out with a slotted spoon and reserve it off to the side. And, of course, we're going to leave a few scraps sitting in there, probably, but that's okay. So now I'm going to add one pound of hot or sweet Italian sausage. It's up to you. I really like hot sausage, because that's just me. I like really hot food. We're going to put this in here and brown up this sausage real good, and we'll be ready to get onto the next stage. Hey, while we're browning the sausage, we want to break it up real good. Unless you really like big chunks of sausage in your pasta, I tend to like it, it crumbled. So, like I said, while it's browning, we're just going to break it up a little bit and uh, just brown it up real nice. Okay, now that we've got the sausage all browned up real good and crumbly, we're just going to finish cooking it for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to cover it up and uh, just let it cook for a little while. We're going to blanch the broccoli and we're almost home. While the sausage finishes cooking, we're just going to blanch the broccoli quickly. I've got a pot of water boiling up here, and we're going to put a pound of broccoli in there. Now, please do not overcook this. Put a timer on for three minutes, because you're not going to want to do it. It's got to be crisp still, or else it's just going to ruin the pasta. So we're going to keep an eye on it, set our timer for three minutes, and we're going to pull it out right after that. Oh. Okay, our broccoli is almost done. Leaves a water and it's pretty green color. The broccoli gets really bright and it's just going to be beautiful and tastes really good with that sausage. Uh, we got about 10 more seconds. Like I said, you don't want to cook it past that time or it's going to get mushy. You want a little crisp still, got a little bite to it. So our three minutes is up. I'm going to take it and put it into a colander right away and drain it. And we're going to rinse it under cold water and drain it again and set it aside. Okay, now that I'm done rinsing the broccoli, I'm going to add a pound of pasta to the water from the broccoli. Uh oh, you know what that means. It's time for another variation on the main ingredient. What you might want to do instead of broccoli, I like to do this a lot because I really, really like peppers, as you can tell. I have a bunch of peppers, different kinds from mild to hot, different colors. It's really nice. But a saute maybe a pound of these up and some oil for five to ten minutes until they're soft or to your liking if you like them really crispy. It goes really well with the sausage as well. So we're going to do that and we're going to separate the two dishes, make one with broccoli and one with peppers. See you in a minute. Okay, now we're almost there. I uh, added the pasta back to the big pan here and we're going to add all the cooked sausage and we're also going to add our wonderful golden garlic and about three quarters cup of fresh grated, very good Parmesan cheese. Like I've said before, don't buy the cheap shit. It's not worth the risk in messing up your whole dish. Buy the really good Parmesan Reggiano and start to stir that up. We're also going to add fresh ground black pepper and salt to taste and we're going to plate it up with whichever vegetable you want to use. If you want to use broccoli or if you want a little spicier, we're going to use the peppers. Okay, we're getting ready to eat. I've got the main pasta dish ready to go. I'm going to put some broccoli on one of them for one of my friends and then for me, because I like spicy stuff, I'm going to add peppers on the other one. 
And also, I really, really love Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna add a little bit more for both of us. Sprinkle a little bit more on top. And probably a little bit more black pepper for me as well. And uh, we're gonna be ready. I'm just making a big mess in the kitchen today, but it's okay. It's late and I'm hungry, and I'm gonna start eating some shit here. Tear right. some of this shit up right now. Uh, it's good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks for watching Main Ingredient. I'm Brian. See you next time. Mm.